Shout out to Balter. XPA, Pinnacle Drop. Righto guys, welcome back. Another episode, Guru Theories. Today, we're talking about what I call the guaranteed bite window. Murray Cod Fishing these days is all about bite windows. Everyone wants to know, everyone's trying to find out when the bod, when when the cod are going to bite. And it's definitely something that I don't reckon anyone will really ever master. I certainly haven't got it figured out. You know, there's so many factors that come into it and we all think about them, we all look at them, we just don't really know how to understand them and how it makes a cod tick, I don't reckon yet, you know. Barometric pressure, moon phases, wind, water temperature, air temperature, all this type of stuff. You know, everyone's got a different opinion on it. And who knows who is right. Um, you know, barometric pressure, some people say, you've got to go 10, 20, fish a plenty. I've caught heaps more fish, I reckon. Heaps more bigger fish, I reckon, when it's down around 10, 10. Some people like it stable and high. Some people like it volatile, moving up and down all the time. It's very hard, you know. One thing I do know is that cod have specific bite windows when they feed. I reckon there's multiple in the day, and there's one that I reckon I can guarantee they always bite on. At least a lot of them bite on. And that is first light. What is first light? First light is not when the sun comes up. First light is the period between when you can first just start to make stuff out in the distance, so very first light. So from dark to very first light to when the sun comes over the hills. That is first light. It's not sunrise when the sun comes over the hills. By that, you pass that bite window. The bite window is from dark, that first transition of light, where you can just start to see if there's a tree 10 metres in front of you, you can just start to make that tree out, if there's no moon, of course, to when that sun comes out. Generally, we're looking at about an hour and a, hour and a half window. And that, to me, is the best time all year round to be on the water fishing for Murray Cod. I reckon these days, 90, 95% of my sessions are based around that first light period. I only go out, you know, two hour sessions, an hour before, or half an hour before that first light, all the way through that period. Spend that, you know, get out there, get on the water in the dark before first light, and um, get to my spot, have a few casts, and be in the zone ready to go for when that first light period turns on. Now, this is not the only time, in my opinion, <laughs> obviously it's not that the cod feed, but I reckon that it is just the most consistent time and your best bet to be out there. Um, I don't know what it is, there's something about that light transition that really moves bait around, uh, moves bait if it's on a bank or holding on the bottom, it seems to move that bait back out um, from that edge or from the bottom. And it's that movement of bait that really gets the cod going, I reckon. Um, you know, with the live sight, live scope, sorry, uh, live technology, whatever, uh, I've had over the last 12 months, it's been so interesting to see that in the dark, you know, before that first light period, banks are just barren. There is no bait. There's nothing cruising around. You'll see the odd bigger fish, big cod cruising around, but there is nothing. This is in where I fish. It could be different in another board way. But when that first light period comes on, that bait, it starts to, you know, it starts to come to the surface. You can obviously see it with your eyes, but it, you can start to see it moving on that live technology and moving back off a bank. And it's that you can actually see the cod hunting in packs that bait. And as that bait comes off the edge or comes up off the bottom or out of the weed bed, wherever they are, the cod just go into a frenzy 
and go ballistic feeding. And that is when a cod is most vulnerable to be caught in that bite when in that bite window when they're feeding. You know, a cod that is dormant sitting on a log or a tree, not really doing anything, just sitting there. It's a lot harder to tempt that fish to bite than a fish that is up there in a shallow spot, smashing bait like crazy. That fish is gonna be a lot more, a lot easier to catch. Now, they're the ones I wanna be catching. So, guys, it's only another short video, but if you're gonna make the effort to go cod fishing, you know, cod fishing is not an easy thing to do. It's they've got to be one of the uh, the hardest species to catch, especially in impoundments. They're not an easy thing, but the reward when you do catch one is so much higher than a lot of other fish. But if you are going to make the effort to get out there, and you you're really focusing on trying to catch fish, if you just if you're just out there having a bit of fun, it doesn't really matter. You're just going for the day and whatever, just go and enjoy yourself. But if you really, really want to catch fish, you've got to make the effort to be out there early. Uh, it can be hard, you know, in winter, like we are at the moment, it's freezing, you know. A lot of the time it's below zero, guides are freezing up. It's not really pleasant to be out there. And if you're not, if you don't have the right attire, you're not gonna have a good time. So keep yourself up and be prepared to get out there early. Know the lake, you know, obviously if it's the first time fishing a zone, a new spot, a new dam, it's gonna be hard to rock up in the dark and fish it. You wanna you want to know the place you're fishing, get out there early, know the bank you wanna fish, get there before first light, get in the zone and start fishing. Uh, it's it's how I do it all the time nowadays. Um, you know, as I said, 99, 95% of the time, I'm focusing my sessions around this first light, you know. I, I, don't really fish much during the day at all anymore. I just find it so much more effective to be out there at that time. That's my prime time. And if I can't get a fish in that time, then I go home and come back, come back the next time. So it's what I call the guaranteed bite window. You're not always obviously going to catch a. You're not guaranteed a fish, but I guarantee that there will be fish in that lake that you're fishing, feeding. Trapping it up, guys. Short one. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed these little short Goody Theories videos. I'm going to have this beer and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.